Hi everyone, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks for joining us today and welcome to our Wednesday Facebook Live. Um, I'm a little rushed today. My air conditioning just flooded and now we have um, a lot of damage in the laundry room. So my husband's not really in a very good mood right now. And I'm not either because it's hot up here and um, I can't put the air conditioner on yet. So anyway, let's get started. I'm happy that everyone's here. If you are here, give me a hello, let me know. Um, I'm just gonna check and see if I can share it. And I hope everybody's doing well handling this heat. Um, all right, I see I have a few people on. Let me see if I can share it to my, uh, um, to the Lollipop Papers group and um, so they don't have to go looking for us. Okay, we're good. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm not seeing any comments, so just give me a, a thumbs up or a heart or something and let me know that you're here. And um, I can see it on my, um, I see we have a few people on my laptop, but I can't really tell here, and I should be able to see it. So anyway, today we have um, a few things I want to show you from our, from my uh, July projects, a little sneak peeks on my class, my club, and um, this Friday is our first of the month uh, Friday um, Facebook Live class. So I only do that once a month, and I do it with, it's just, um, if you haven't joined us before, it's just a, um, it's a class. I have four projects. Actually, I have five this month. I have a bonus uh, 3D project, and I'll show you what we're going to be using and a little sneak peek of those cards, too. But um, that's on Friday, and that is... Uh, <laughs> thanks, Nancy. I know. The guy's going to come later to help the, to fix the air conditioning. Always on a Wednesday or a Friday when I really need to be cool. Um, good morning, Kathy. So anyway, uh, so that's this Friday. So be sure to uh, check back in. That's just a, um, it's a class. So that means a $30 order um, be between the time of the class and also the um, uh, Sunday night. Then I will send you the kits to make all five of those projects. So, um, so just come back and join us on Friday for that. Um, so let's get some business, business done with our prize patrol um, before I, I um, tilt, you, tilt the camera down. So um, two, well, last week I pulled uh, Kathy Salsa, Salsi, I'm not sure how to say that. I'm so sorry, Kathy, if I'm ruining your name. Um, and I had the hand-drawn blooms stamp set. Um, I haven't heard from you, Kathy, yet, so um, I'll hold it for another week, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll try to put your name into the description uh, to try to grab your attention. Um, I, I don't think I did that last week. So, Kathy, I'm going to hold this for you for one more week. Just PM me your address, and I'll be sure to get that out to you. Um, and now for last week, uh, we, I, I do appreciate everybody, um, I do appreciate everybody who, uh, who did share and who does share my videos. It, it makes my heart very happy for that kind of support. Um, so last week, um, we had the Inspired Thoughts um, uh, stamp set that I was giving away for Prize Patrol. And whoopsie, I picked um, Mary, Lee, Mary Lee Brown. So Mary Lee, you are our Prize Patrol winner for this week so congratulations and thank you again for sharing i'll get that i do have your address so i'll get that out to you um before the end of the week okay so today's prize patrol will be the uh darling um stamp sets called count on me and it has these just so cute little critters on there i don't know if you can see it no you can't really see it because of the glare from the window but it's cute it has a little penguin, kangaroo, a little chicky, uh, koala bears. It's adorable. So um, that's a, it's called Count on Me. So anyone who's nice enough to share that for me this week, I'll be sure to get that out. Uh, but we'll pick a name for that next week. Good morning, ladies. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Okay, so I want to have a lot of stuff to show you today. So let me um, put you down to my desk 
And first up is the um, designer series paper sale that is starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is July 1st. I can't believe it. Um, and so we have nine, I think there's only 12, but nine out of the 12 DSP packs are um, on sale, 15% off starting tomorrow. So, and you can order as many as you want. There's no, there's no limit on that. So let me just go through quickly the ones that are available. I think the ones that weren't available were the specialty packs. So um, those, were, those were just a little bit more to them. So this is all 15% off. So we have the Beauty of the Earth DSP, and you can see all the beautiful um, patterns there. Sweet Symmetry, this is adorable, and this is what I'm doing my online class uh, for July with this uh, In Symmetry bundle. So I'll show you some of the cards I made with that. You're a Peach, we know we love this set. I've done this a oh, hundred times, um, made projects with these. Hand penned, another one that I just couldn't get enough of. I just can't, I, I have so many cards. This is the one that we did um, last week. We used the memories in more, the hand pen cards uh, and envelopes and that th those came out adorable too. So that's hand penned. Pansy petals, I mean, you know, I've done al almost all of these. I've done projects in all of them. And actually in my blog tomorrow, um, I have, uh, I have, a, I have all of the patterns that are, all of the packs that are on sale. And then I also included a little, one of my samples, one of my projects, just to give you a little, um, just a little reminder of a, a cute project that you can make with it. This one I did not have, I, I do not have the bundle for this, but this is in the wild. And this has really pretty um, animal prints and jungle prints. This is one from last year, which uh, we just used the heck out of this too. This was a huge pack of, um, of DSP and it carried over to this year too. So this again is on sale. So I'm happy about that. Bloom where you're planted, 12 by 12. Again, um, this is, these. I, I don't think I've done any projects with this one yet. I think I do have this bundle, but um, this, these background images can be used with anything. And uh, from what I think, I'm not positive, but I think the, the um, dyes for this uh, do crop out one of, the, um, one of the DSP images. Correct me if I'm wrong, if somebody knows that that's not the case. It just seems like I've seen um, a bunch of projects where it was like popped out right from the, right from the DSP. And then this was the last one, uh, Tidings of Christmas. And this is in the, new, the, um, the annual catalog. Um, not the new catalog. I mean, it will be carried over. So this is totally um, available now. So the, um, the new uh, July to, to December mini catalog slash holiday catalog will be available um, August 2nd or 3rd. I forget what day that is. Um, but demonstrators are able to order as of tomorrow. So we're going to um, be able to order from that, um, from that new catalog. So that's very exciting for us. And um, it's, a, it's a big perk to be a part of Stampin' Up! and to be a part of my team in particular, too, because we have, um, you have, you don't have to worry about all of the back orders, which inevitably show up um, every time we, we have a new catalog. So, um, so let me, I'll start with that one then. So this is the, um, the Evergreen Elegance is the bundle that I'm using for my Facebook Friday class this week, Facebook Live Friday class. And I'll give you a sneak peek. We are using that same uh, Tidings of Christmas uh, DSP. And um, I'll give you a really quick peek. So these are the ones that we will be doing on Friday. So this is really simple just um, very simple stamping, but crisp and clear. And I use the uh, Chris Tidings of Christmas DSP here. This is another one. I used one of the stamps from there. This honestly couldn't get any easier. It was just, and actually for this one, I did use um, 
a stamp from the watercolor shapes stamp set but on Friday I'll show you another way that you can you that you can get that effect uh, just with a block a, a clear block and then I just uh, stamped right on there and layered it and for this one it was so beautiful just the way it was I didn't want to interfere with a, st a sentiment so I did put the sentiment on the inside Here's another one where I was using the punch, and I'll show you how to use this punch so that you can get um, a, a long stream of these trees instead of just um, three, I think, or four that it pops out if you just do one at a time. And then this one is just really showcasing the, uh, the DSP from that beautiful set. Okay, so that is my Friday, Facebook Friday class. Oh, and this is the bonus project. I forgot to tell you about this one. This is one of the um, Corrugate uh, Craft Scalloped Boxes, I believe it's called. And it comes together in a GIF, just a little bit of adhesive, and all I did was decorate around it so that you could um, open and close it. So we'll make that as a, a, a bonus project also. Okay, so let me show you what I have for my um, July online class this month which is uh, officially the registration opens tomorrow on the 1st, but I opened it up early for anyone who wants to register early, so uh, a few people have taken advantage of that already, so thank you for that. Um, and these are our three projects that you get the kits for. Let me put that aside. So these, and this is the one that's using the um, In Symmetry bundle. And this has this cool um, leaf, punch thing too and uh, so we'll we'll use that on just one or two of the projects but so this is one of my um, one of the projects so with my club uh, excuse me with my class you get two each of of three designs so it's six cards total and all of the um, pieces cardstock um, embellishments everything if it's not included in your package with the um, because I do include products in there, uh, then I supply them for you. But this is just really simple stamping, but a little cute little Z fold there. This is another one that's part of the actual um, class that you would re be receiving the, all the, um, the cardstock for, including this tag. I just can't send anything that was stamped, so I can't stamp it for you, but you can certainly do that, or you could use any, any uh, set that you do have. And then this is just another one where I'm just showcasing this beautiful DSP. In addition to my online classes, I always give three additional PDF projects. So you don't get the kits for these, but everybody does get the, um, the PDFs. And the, again, this is just showcasing that beautiful um, DSP, which I didn't really even appreciate until I started working with it when I have my little um, you know templates that I showed you that I that I can check to see what what patterns I want to use uh, it's okay it's two inches though you really don't get a feel for it until you start to play with it and so this it's hard to see here but um, I cropped out two of these little leaves right out of the DSP here I did the same thing but I did it on uh, out of the cardstock the just J's the cardstock and this is the last one so these three are just really simple stamping showcasing the um, the DSP and if you um, if you did join the, the class you're gonna get the DSP in the pack anyway so this these will just be a breeze for you to be able to, um, to put together once you have all those things okay so my last thing and this is the little project that we're gonna be doing today but I wanted to show you, these are my club cards. So for the club this month, I'm using the Artistically Inked Bundle. And it has these artistic dies and the um, really beautiful, uh, distinctive color, uh, technique uh, watercolor images. So these are, I'll show you, these are um, three of the four cards that I did. Again, this is just high, highlighting the beautiful DSP here um, it's stamped and then cropped with the dies that one that was one of those big dies and the leaves just to make it really simple but again this DSP 
is stealing the show for, for each one of these cards. And then this was just, this is the third one. So for my fourth card, now usually for my club, you get, um, you get four cards, two of each, as opposed to three cards, two of each. So, and it's two of each of the exact same kit. So I, I, I plan it that way. But in this case, I wanted to um, do this instead. So this is, and we're, this is the one we're gonna do today. So I'll show you how I do it. And actually, I will probably edit this a little bit and include this in with my club uh, tutorials, just to give everyone an idea of how I made two cards with just one um, technique and uh, it came out so pretty and so simple uh, I'll show you it'll just be it'll just be a few minutes so this is my uh, fourth card for my club but then again um, you're not going to get uh, you're not going to get a, you know two of this card or two of this card you're going to get one of this and one of this because you're going to together you're going to put it together and it's going to be beautiful Okay, let me show you how I just did that, really super quick. Um, what I did was I took out this, I cropped this out of just regular basic white. I used this beautiful big die. And I should say that um, I, when I do this, when it's something this large and that intricate, I stand by my dryer sheet method. And um, I just feel like it's, it just peels up, peels away, and all of those little um, doodads come out of the, of the intricate uh, spaces in there. So just keep that in mind. I always keep a whole bunch of, um, of uh, dies, uh, uh, of dryer sheets right, ne right in my, in my uh, desk. Okay, so here, so I cropped this out of basic white. Now I, I cropped this, I believe it was, um, well, it was four and a half. I, this, is, this needs to be a little bit um, trimmed because this is just gonna be the layer on there. So I'm gonna trim that after we do it though. All right, so that's all we're doing here. I'm gonna take some of my um, ink pads, my in color, I have polished pink, I have soft succulent, and I have pale papaya. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my um, blending brushes, which I keep, I have six of them. I think they come three to a pack. I do keep them separate because I don't wanna be washing them and drying them and waiting for them to dry. So this way, everyone kind of has their own color family and um, I don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this here. You could put a little washi tape on there if you, if you desire but it's really not necessary. So I'm gonna take some of my pink and that comes out pretty, um, pretty strong. So I don't want it too overwhelming. And if you keep it in place, and I'm just going off a little bit because I want it to um, color out the, color the outside edges a little bit too. Okay, and then we have that. All right, so now I'm gonna take a green and I'm gonna use my soft succulent. This is a little bit, and just match it up if you can. And I'm just gonna do my green, my leaves. And again, I'm gonna go on the outside, just so it has a nice little, and let's get this guy in here. And if you have to go back, you just go back if you have to spread it out a little bit. And let's do this here. And I always do one little pounce on my um, scrap just to make sure that I'm not, um, that it's not coming out too, too, um, too dark. Whoops, okay, so now I have my pale papaya. Now this is, this is really light, so I don't have to worry about it adding too much color from the, from the get-go but I want to just do my guy right here and just bring it out a little bit. Oh, I'm sliding. Okay. All right, see how simple that was? 
And then you can add your color if you wanted to add a little bit around here, just to give it a little color all the way to the edges. We could do that here. And let's just do a little green since we're doing the rest. Okay. Now, see how simple that was? Now I'm putting my brushes right back into my jar where I don't have to worry about them. They're just gonna dry on their own. So now, here we have, this is ready, this is ready to go right on here. I'll have to just trim it down a little bit, um, just a half an inch all the way around. And then I added some, um, just some embellishments for the inside. And then this piece here makes for a beautiful um, focal image. And all you have to do is layer it up. What I did here was I layered it on cardstock and then DSP. And then you can just place it right on there and add your sentiment and you're good to go. See how simple that was? So that's how we're gonna do it. So for my club members, that's what we're going to do. Um, Kathy, new dryer sheets or used ones? I use new ones. Um, I probably could use an old one, I don't know. I just bought a cheap bag, a cheap box of, of um, new ones and I just use one for that. Um, sometimes I have to like trim it a little bit just so that it fits better onto the, um, onto the plate, but I think either one would work, but I do use, I think maybe the, um, maybe the newer, one, newer ones have more of a sticky factor to it. So see if, um, see if that works. That, that's what I would do. I would stick with a new one, but don't waste your good ones. Just go get something cheap. Okay, let's see. I think, I think that's it. Let me put this up here. So we have the host code for tomorrow for when you want to um, start packing up with the uh, DSP sale. And um, for Friday too, I think Friday I have my own, I have a separate host code for the Friday class. Um, and that's the one that we're, we're doing a Christmas in July, which is the first for me because I am not really a Christmas in July girl. Um, I kind of like to enjoy my summer and then not get into Christmas until it's time. But this bundle was really so cute and um, I, I know a lot of people out there do do the Christmas in July. So I wanted to give that option. So ladies, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I appreciate it when you share it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please um, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next uh, video or Facebook Live. Um, and then it will just, you'll get, you'll get notified that it will all come to you. All right, thanks again. I hopefully I will see you back here on Friday, uh, same time, 11 o'clock for our uh, Facebook Live class. Until then, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Thank you, bye bye.